Okay, let's see. Hi, <laughs> it's been a while and it's Yolanda from, uh, from Haiti and um, I am sorry, I, I have a lot of good scenery around me but uh, the, the Wi-Fi is not very good. I have Wi-Fi in that spot where I am right now um, but I will be posting beautiful pictures and the scenery as the day goes by. And um, well, we are we moved to Haiti and uh, we like it. It's been nothing but good experience, and um, it's better than being bombarded by a mask and double mask, and uh, the fear of uh, Corona. And uh, there is a lot of uncertainty in the U.S. right now because. Um, I would say that Europe is um, is been on a lockdown for like eight months, and Canada for three months, and there are a lot of restrictions in New York, in the United States, and um, we decided um, we were not retiring yet, and we decided to come to Haiti, and it's been okay. I've been. Um, even though I'm from Haiti, but when I used to live in Haiti, I never knew anything about Haiti because I left Haiti when I was uh, about 19 years old. And um, now it's been more than 40 years later and I'm really exploring um, what Haiti is uh, really offering right now, which is nothing but um, beauty. There's a lot of issues there uh, but these are issues that have been engineered to create fear. And um, we know the history behind all these engineered fears. And um, we are not going to let it stop us um, exploring uh, all the richness Haiti has to offer. And some of the richness are the people. They are high, they are very good in personality, they are extremely calm and pleasant and nice, friendly people, and we have the perfect, almost perfect temperature, and also um, perfect food in terms of foods, and um, not really vegetables, but it is something we can talk about another time, because uh, the culture is responsible for that, and people, um, and my goal here is to grow greens and to teach the people how to grow their own greens. Uh, where I live right now, I'm exploring, I'm starting planting broccoli and lettuce and uh, spinach um, and cabbage. And because when I go to the supermarket in Haiti, that's one of the problem. Most of the greens are imported 
and let's say two little head bulbs of broccoli will cost like eight dollars uh, because they, they are not common in Haiti. The only green that is really common are um, cucumbers and iceberg lettuce. And there's a type of spinach. We, in the United States, they call it kalalu. Uh, the Jamaican call it kalalu. That's the type of spinach they have here in Haiti. And, um, but they don't really have, and also they have Swiss chard. And the Swiss chard, it's the type of um, vegetable that carries uh, oxalic acid, and um, you don't want to eat it too much because it will create digestive disorder and um, it's going to create an imbalance in your body and it's, it's going to hold um, iron into your joint. So there's, you shouldn't eat Swiss chard. I know they are uh, very, to me, in all the greens, Swiss chards are the most delicious because you can just dump them in some hot water, boiling water for like 30 seconds, and then you can eat it. It's extremely delicious because it carry on, is on salt. There's salt in it, natural salt. That's come from the vegetable. Uh, so, but it's the same with certain vegetables. They are high in oxalic acid and it's better to eat them one or twice a week. And some of the vegetables are spinach, uh, Swiss chard, uh, kale, and uh, tomatoes, and, um, and um, arugula, spinach, arugula, Swiss chard. And these are the ones you should not be eating every day. And, um, and some vegetables, they call them nightshade. You shouldn't be eating them because they can create inflammation in the joint. Me, I, have bad, I had bad experience with them. Therefore, I don't want to eat them often or very, very rarely. And these nightshade plants that especially women should not be eating are eggplants, tomatoes, white, potatoes, you can get away with sweet. I get away with sweet potato. I eat a lot of sweet potatoes. I don't know if it's because they carry, they have more nutrients. They have, um, they are uh, yellowish and purplish and uh, greenish and oranges. They are orange, so they have a lot of uh, antioxidant in them and nutrients. So your body accepts it better. But the white potato is not a potato especially women should eat a lot. Every time you eat them, the best way to know if some food goes well with you, f see how you feel uh, two hours after you eat them. Sometimes you will feel some joint pain, sometimes you will feel a headache, sometimes you will feel bloating, sometimes you will feel acid reflux, like the food is sitting there, and uh, many other illness. Some people will feel headache and uh, constipation and uh, irritation, inflammation. So be careful when you eat something and follow your body because your body never lies and your body is always paying attention. And um, that's why we are at, we adjusted so well in uh, Haiti. Like today, um, I made a smoothie with uh, um, ripe breadfruit. Breadfruit is a fruit that um, it's like, it tastes, smell like bread. When you bake it, it's round. I have one inside. Um, but next time I'll bring it with me, you can bake it and you can have it with tea if you want. And it's really smell and taste like bread. So if you miss bread, um, and you know bread is very processed, it's gonna be like a cement like in your intestine, in your stomach, it's gonna, it's like, let's say you made a paste with white flour and you throw it against the wall. In two days, it's gonna be like hard, like cement. So that's almost that same reaction. This is why a lot of people have plaque inside of the stomach because this food, the, the body cannot digest them. They are, they are high in gluten. That's why they are called, they say they have gluten in them and they are being bleached and they are being highly processed with, um, with fat they put in the flour and salt and water 
to create that paste. And then to, they put yeast in it. Imagine if you have candida, having bread is a no-no for anyone. Even if you feel you are healthy, because absence of disease doesn't mean you're healthy. A lot of people have that impression. They have an illusion that, oh, I, don't, I never get sick. I remember when I was a kid, I remember my mother used to say, hey, so-and-so never gets sick, oh my God. And that person dropped dead. And remember, sickness is your friend. Because if it wasn't for sickness, no one will know that they have, there is a problem. What you do when you are sick make all the difference. Because some people, when the body is sending signal to them, telling them there is a problem through symptoms. So we take medication to make the body shut up, to quiet down the body. And the body doesn't want to be quiet. The body wants you to take away what's causing the problem. And remember, a little while ago, I was talking about with the food that are causing inflammation and pain, and um, like the one with the oxalic acid, okay? The one with the alkaloids, um, the one with the nightshade ones, and whenever, even though they are vegetables, but some people are sensitive to them, okay? They have issues. So when your body is, um, has a low tolerance, when your immune system overwork, any little thing you put, your body's gonna say, hey, I have it up to here, okay? So what you do now, you back off. You said, oh, I'm sorry. But the problem with human being they don't understand the language that the body is sending to them. The body is speaking with them, but they don't understand the language. And for you to understand the language, you must listen to program like the one I'm doing now. And because I'm one of these people, I'm extremely passionate about health. And whatever the information I bring you or well researched, they are not things that I pick up from somebody and I come here and said it. I, for the past 32 years, I've been around many health clinics all over the world and I see what the doctors are doing, what the, pa or the patient feel, I ask questions. I'm extremely, extremely curious and I like to ask questions. So I ask these people, why are you here at this clinic? And how many times have you been here, okay? So what's wrong with you? Why do you think this will help you? All the major important question. And I can frankly tell you that um, um, doctors do not heal people. Doctors should be around for emergency situation. Like if you have meningitis or syphilis, you need penicillin, you have a car accident, you have a heart attack, things like that. But they shouldn't be interfering with every little thing and give you a drug. The drug, you take the drug for one thing and the drug will just make a lot of destruction, like six different problems. If you think I'm lying, go and take any drug in your medicine cabinet, Google it and look at the side effect of it, okay? You take it for one thing and that drug will give you constipation, headache, vomiting, and on and on and on. So I'm not telling you if you have an issue. We live in a society where we have not been educated. Doctors have not been educated to know the causes of problems because the, the pharmaceutical industry control medical school. And anything you do in life, you must know the history behind it. Okay, you have to know the history behind medical school. Many doctors don't even know their own history. So you may have something here and it could be very simple to fix it, but you don't know. And the, the, what you can do to fix it is really what you need to stop doing, what's causing it. That's what you need to do. You need to stop the cause of the problem. Okay, if you have a troublemaker, you know, you're not gonna go out there to fix the trouble. You're gonna remove the troublemaker that's causing the trouble in the environment and then the trouble will go away. It works every time. 
it work at a hundred percent because when I I've been to this clinic one of them is uh, true not held in uh, Santa Rosa California it's been around for like more than 50 years there's another one called Hippocrates Health Institute in uh, West Palm Beach Florida who's been around for 60 something years and it's Hippocrates people just go there on the stretcher they can't even walk they can't even be on a wheelchair and they come back four months later full with life and one of them is uh, Venus Williams and she was very sick she went to that clinic and she recovers okay um, many other celebrities they've been to that clinic doctors send them home to die and they recover Venus Williams she had five years to live she was suffering from, from autoimmune disease and she went to Hippocrates Health Institute and she recovers. And uh, True Not Health, uh, Cornell University said, this is the best clinic in the whole world. And they are the best one at, recover, at helping people recover from major disease through the use of fasting, okay? So anyway, I don't want to keep you too long and I know you guys, it's Sunday, you have things to do. I'll try to come back again, uh, maybe later if I have time, uh, with another live. And uh, hopefully uh, you can learn something new because I don't fool around with health information. I'm the real deal. And I'm so proud to say that about myself. I'm not into uh, fancy recipes and fancy cheese, vegan cheese. I used to do it, but I found that I'm not really truly helping people. I'm helping people uh, move from um, an animal eating style diet into a vegan diet that's really not uh, gearing towards health. I like to eat simple. I think you should eat simple. Give the body a chance to heal. And um, yeah. So let me see if I have any question. Hi, Natalie. Uh, Habiba say thank you for this information. Uh, um, she said to please share fibroid treatment food remedy. Um, Natalie said thank you for sharing always. You're welcome, Natalie. I appreciate you too, my love. And uh, hi, Marge. How are you? Um, Adjara is watching. Uh, Ajara said, I would love to visit there. Yeah, Haiti is a very nice place. Clarence is watching. Uh, Ajara said, Bonsoir, ma soeur. Bonsoir, Ajara. And um, Natalie said, Hi, hi, Natalie. And um, Abiba said, to Please share fibroid treatment. Um, Fibroids uh, is, uh, is an issue where the body is trying to get waste and, and deposit it in a specific area. In women, it's usually the fibroids, especially if you f suffer from emotional issue, it all goes into the fibroid. This is why there's an exercise women should do, you know, bring the belly in and out you know, to do some kind of release and exercising to help strengthen the muscle of the whole endocrine system. But um, the best medicine for fibroid is really a fast, a detox. And it's not easy to detox recently because our food has been uh, genetically engineered. Um, it's harder for people to change their diet because they put substance, addictive substance in food that makes it very difficult for people to change their diet. Uh, if you want to detox, to get rid of the, for the fibroid to shrink, you need to stop the food that's feeding it. There are certain food, if you go, if you Google food that is no good for fibroid, you can start there. And then you can adopt a diet that is low starch diet. Um, uh, like uh, cho cho, uh, do you call it again? Uh, and different food like sweet potatoes and um, cucumbers, zucchinis, and uh, celery. Um, this type of food are very good. Uh, they are not very stay away from rice, stay away from bread or dairy products, animal products, and be 
eat more vegetables, steam vegetables for a while, and green juices, and raw foods. Raw food will treat everything. If you just eat raw and you have an issue, try a week of raw food, raw vegetable, raw fruits, a lot of salad with no oil, and then you will see a big, big difference in, uh, in everything. And um, yeah, but if you can afford to go to a clinic, there is one in Florida called Hippocrates Health Institute, and there's another one in Santa Rosa called T-R-U-E-N-O-R-T-H, health. Through not health, you can reverse everything. You can even reverse aging uh, there. All right? Hi, Lori from San Diego. Lori, you're lucky because you, you live near Optimum Health Institute. That's another one that's in San Diego. They are affordable. And if you have fibroids, I guarantee you after a week, that fibroid will shrink because they will put you to a period of fasting. Even if you don't fast, even if they only give you juices, fast, juice fasting, the fibroid will shrink, okay? Any more question? Um, I'm very happy to be here because um, it's been a while. I've not been on uh, Facebook Live because of uh, internet uh, issues, Wi-Fi issues in Haiti. Right now, I have Wi-Fi. Hopefully, um, Abiba said, uh, what is the name of the clinic in San Diego? It's called Optimum Health Institute. Let's see if I can type it. Let me type it for you. It's called Optimum Health Institute. I just put it for you. Yeah, it's called Optimum Health Institute. And it's, um, I think it's about $150 a day. Uh, they have a chiropractor there and they have their own greenhouse and they will put you to a regimen of, um, you know, it's like you're not only benefit from the fibroids, but you, your body will benefit from everything, your liver, your kidney, and everything will, benefit from that fasting and also they have classes all day and it's it's going to be a very uh, experience because anybody these days who want to make changes in their health it's it's good to have the good foundation uh, foundation um of education because you, you you i can't tell somebody these days i can't tell somebody go home and be vegan or go home be raw Unless you have extreme willpower, that will help you to that journey. Even for me, it's challenging. When I went back, when I came back to Haiti and I go to people's house and they are eating the food I used to eat when I was a kid, there's something called akasan. Akasan is like the finest kind of corn. And, and it's very, it's like, um, it's like flour of wheat flour, but it's finer. And they used, we used to put brown, the real brown, dark brown sugar on it, and that, and we dip bread into it, and we used to eat it. And I mean, I tried it when I came in, but I saw the change in my in my body after I had it. I felt sleepy, and now I understood why I felt sleepy because it takes a lot of energy from the body to process it. And I'm not a saint. I'm not an you know. Uh, I'm not saying I, I, I am perfect, I, 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 do, I do cheat once in a while, I cheat here, I cheat there, but I'm not someone who's going to go and buy cake and buy ice cream and, um, and things like that. Um, especially in Haiti, um, they sell extremely delicious food in the street, but the food, they, they, the rice they make in the street, they cover it with plastic bags because it allowed the rice to cook faster and it helped the people save in gas and in charcoal, they use charcoal and all that stuff. It, it, it helped them save in energy and everything and time and everything. So they don't understand that that plastic is releasing um, 
some water from the plastic that is loaded with dioxin and that's that's really hurting especially women and the system for example if you're a woman and you want to have a baby don't have hot food in plastic because the hot food in plastic the plastic is going to release uh, dioxin that will mess up your whole endocrine system and even if you are older it it's it's going to create toxin in your body floating and your body has to work hard releasing the toxin out and which create a challenge for your immune system so the body doesn't ask too much the body is really a good body and the body ne is never not watching even even when you're jealous of somebody, even if you're angry at somebody, even if you're revengeful, the body's listening and it has an impact on the cell, okay? So, if, so try to forgive easily. Let go of things. Somebody step on your feet, let it go. Somebody give you a bad look, let it go. Somebody push you by accident, let, even if they don't say, I'm sorry, let it go, okay? This is also a part of health, having a smile on your face, because when you smile all the time, every part of your body smile. And when every part of your body smile, you get good health. Everything is nice. So I learn, I learn to refix myself. I learn to recreate myself, not only in the food I eat, in all the habit, in attitude, in spirituality. And when you lie also, you, uh, you have to watch yourself not to be caught in that lie. Don't lie. If you have to lie, don't say anything. Okay? Question, let's see. Um, Habiba said, you are the best health coach I have seen so far. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, Habiba said, wow, that's gold. <laughs> Thank you. Daniel said, hi. Hi, Daniel. Abiba said again, uh, God bless. God bless you too. Uh, okay. Oh, you said uh, San Diego is closer to you. San Diego is good, except they don't do water fasting. Um, California, Santa Rosa, they are in my list. They are number one. But when you do a water fast, your body heals fast because the body is using 100% energy to fix things. It's like a monitoring system it's not here digesting food so therefore it's traveling everywhere to fix things but when you do the juice fast and the water fast it's kind of it does it at like 80 75 80 percent okay but the water fast does it at a hundred percent so guys i will uh, try to come back whenever i can and uh, let me know in the comment and uh, what do you want me to talk about with any one of you. If you have a specific subject you would like me to cover, let me know. But I'm here in Haiti and happy. Thanks. Ciao.